All right, so I found 21 small town side hustles where you can make big money. That's right, these are side hustles that are available to anyone, even if you live in a small town. And you're gonna absolutely love these. Many of them I have done myself, many of them other friends of mine have done them successfully. And the first one is going to be buying and selling scrap metal. Have you ever looked at that rusty pile of metal in your backyard and thought, what if I could pay for my next vacation with this? Spoiler alert, Sometimes it can, because sometimes one person's trash can be another person's ticket to riches. And this is the ultimate side hustle that turns junkyards into gold mines. And basically what this involves is either buying or finding scrap metal in a small town, and then you go ahead and sell them to recycling centers or processing facilities. And this side hustle capitalizes on a demand for scrap metal, providing a service to dispose of unwanted metal while generating income through the resale of these materials. And a fun fact about this is this has actually been a side hustle since ancient times. And there's evidence of metal recycling dating back to ancient Rome. Now, when it comes to the earnings, scrap metal business owners in the US have actually been reaping the rewards of this for years. And just as an example, in 2020, the scrap metal market in the US was evaluated at approximately $52 billion. And it's been growing at 3% every single year. So this is something where you can reliably make $1,000 a month. There's even some months or some people that really take it seriously and they can make much more than that. Plus, you're doing a valuable service to society as well. So overall, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. What's up, guys? So I'm sitting here in the editing process and I realized that I actually have a live stream. It's basically gonna be like a workshop. It's gonna be a Zoom workshop. You're gonna be in a call with me and I'm gonna be teaching you how to grow and monetize YouTube. I'm gonna be revealing the five biggest secrets that I have when it comes to growing and monetizing YouTube. And then on top of that, I'm gonna be answering any questions that you have about starting a successful YouTube channel. So that is going to be 8 p.m. on Tuesday, Eastern Daylight Time, because they recently changed that. So it's EDT, Eastern Daylight Time. Um, so make sure you double check on the time because the time zone change is gonna be happening here pretty soon. So Eastern Daylight Time, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Um, definitely check it out. Don't wanna miss it. I'll see you there. Next, let's talk about being a handyman. And there's a really good app you can do this with and it's called TaskRabbit. Now there's a good chance TaskRabbit is available in your area and typically you're gonna start off making about $35 an hour. And you can do all kinds of different things from helping people move to helping people paint a house or helping people clean up their yards. And there's people on different side hustle related Reddits that report making $5,000 a week or more doing this. There's also people that work part-time and they report making about $1,000 to $1,500 a week. And the truth is these days, most people don't know how to do physical labor. They don't really know how to fix things or do things that require them getting their hands dirty. Everybody's trying to go to college and get a white collar job. And so if you're the type of person who can fix things or you can do physical labor, there's a ton of opportunities out there for you. And handymen typically charge about 50 to $80 per hour at least. And that comes out to about 320 to $600 per day on average. However, However, you can charge a lot more than that depending on the type of work that you do. So yeah, overall this one is excellent and I get it, most of you probably don't wanna do this for the rest of your life, but it can be a great way to make some extra money on the side or to even have a job for a short period of your life and just save up money and then later on get a better job. So I'll go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be starting a YouTube channel. That's right, even if you live out in the middle of nowhere, you live in a small town, as long as you have an internet connection and either a phone or a computer, you can start a YouTube channel. And one thing that I get tired of seeing is all these people who talk about side hustles online, but they don't mention the number one side hustle, which is creating content, which is how they're actually making money. So I try to mention this in almost every video, just to let you guys know that I do think this is the number one way of making money, and that's why I'm doing it myself. And interestingly enough, there's a number of content creators that have grown on YouTube by featuring mostly their lives in their small hometown. Trout and Coffee, for example, would regularly feature parts of his small hometown while also bringing his viewers along his journey of building cabins in the woods. The Cottage Ferry is another example of a channel that got really big during the pandemic when everybody else was locked in, and they were able to allow viewers to feel like they were basically able to walk outside because of 
the refreshing scenery in a small town where she was. And earnings from a YouTube channel can vary drastically. So I know YouTube channels that are around 5,000 subscribers that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. And I know YouTube channels that have over a million subscribers that are barely getting by. And so although YouTube is an incredible opportunity, you wanna be smart about the niche that you choose. And that was kind of the mistake that I made is I chose a bunch of niches that just aren't profitable. And even if I did you know, get a million subscribers, I probably wouldn't have made that much money. For instance, I started a channel on RuneScape. I used to play this game RuneScape back in the day and I started a channel on that. I started another channel where I talked about different study tips. I started another channel where I talked about self-development and I uploaded one minute videos. And after failing at all those channels, I finally came back to YouTube in 2019. And after I started to take it seriously after just a few months, I was making over $10,000 a month. And because of this, I was able to quit my job, which I felt like I was stuck in and I wasn't really passionate about and it just stressed me out all the time. And once I'd quit my job, I was able to quickly scale my channel up to over $100,000 a month. So yeah, YouTube is incredible. It's without a doubt, in my opinion, the best way of making money online. The only thing is you have to make sure you select the right niche and you have to make sure that you're making the right videos. And by the way, I do coach a few people on how to grow and make money from YouTube every month. I'm very picky about who I work with. I only work with people who are very serious about growing on YouTube, but you can go ahead and apply for my coaching down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And if we're a good fit, we can work together and I can help you to grow and monetize your YouTube channel properly. So overall, I'm going to give YouTube a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. I know that I'm biased, but if you do it in the right way, it really is the best way to make money online, in my opinion. Next, let's talk about junk hauling. So this is basically where you help people to clean up clutter inside of their house, or sometimes it might be in their backyard or on their property. You put it in your truck, you might put it on a trailer, and then you haul it off. And there's a really cool story about somebody who actually dropped out of college, founded a business called 1-800-GOT-JUNK, and he was able to scale it up to a 500 million dollar empire. And depending on your location and where you haul and how much you haul, you can earn anywhere from $100 to $600 per job. And with consistent gigs, you can make a hefty income. In fact, you can even scale this one up to a full-time income. So yeah, all you really need is a vehicle. You'd probably want to do some type of advertising services. You could start on Facebook or Craigslist, and then you just start doing jobs. And if you do a good job, your stuff will basically spread by word of mouth because lots of people will recommend you. This is a pretty good one. I'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be window shield cleaning. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You basically clean people's window shields, sometimes just on the outside and sometimes also on the inside. Now, one thing you could do here is you could partner up with a local small town gas station and basically just ask them if you can clean the windshields of people who pull up to get gas. And you could maybe split however much you end up making with the gas station itself. So it would be good for them as well. Another thing you could do is offer a mobile windshield cleaning service, or you could just park out at a very specific place that is next to a stop sign or a red light that people are going to be waiting for a while and then clean people's windshields as they're waiting. Because as much as people love pigeons, they probably don't love the poop that pigeons drop on their windshield. So here's a few different examples of people that have actually done this. It's actually a pretty common side hustle. And you typically make between five and $10 per windshield. And that means you could make up to a few hundred dollars a day. So not the best side hustle ever, but it's super easy to get started. I mean, basically all you need is a rag and some soap and water. And for that reason, I'll go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 side hustle score. Now with the next one, you don't just wash car windows, you actually Actually could just wash any type of window out there. And I think this one's a little bit better than just washing car windows as well. And this is basically where you go around and you wash windows on different buildings. Now, in some cases, you might be washing windows on the first floor of a building. And if you get really fancy with this, you can actually get a ladder and then wash windows even on the second or third floor. And here's an example of someone on Reddit who started this business and they made about $10.6,000 in revenue their first month cleaning residential windows. Like I said before, there's 
there's lots and lots of opportunities if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty. And here's a YouTube video about this guy who went from broke to 100K per month in window cleaning business. And that's yet another example. And depending on your location and the scale of the job, you can make anywhere between 50 and $150 per job typically. Sometimes you can make more than that if it's a larger building. And of course, one thing that's great about this business model is if you do a good job, they're probably gonna have you come back every week or every month. And that's what's known as monthly recurring revenue, which is a huge deal in business because you're not having to always go out there and find new business all the time. So yeah, you can make a ton of money doing this. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a farm hand. And I know what you're thinking, this is really hard work. And yes, it is, it is really hard work, but there's certain times of year where farmers need extra help. And so if you're able to offer your services as a farm hand, they're probably gonna pay you very handsomely. Why? Simply because of supply and demand. They don't have enough people to do the jobs that they want to do. And so you can go up to a farmer and basically just ask Ask them what times of year they could use your help and they'll probably let you know and then at that time of the year you come back to them and then you can start working now typically farmhands make about $18.55 per hour but again if you do it at certain times of the year you can make much more than this so this one's pretty good I'll go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score another one that's very similar is cleaning sign boards and this is basically where you clean signs a lot of the time these are going to be advertisement signs sometimes it might also be government signs and you're basically just gonna be cleaning them to make sure that they're clean, visible, and they stand out. Now, typically you'd make between 50 and $150 per job. And another thing that you can do here, again, is the monthly recurring revenue. You can come back month after month and do it over and over again. So overall, this one's very similar to the other one, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be digital product sales. So this is something that, of course, you can do in a small town as long as you have access to a computer and the internet. And there's so many different types of digital products that you can sell. Just as an example, this lady right here, Rachel, makes about $9,500 a month selling printables that she makes on Canva. And she says she comes up with the ideas for digital products by using Facebook groups and Google Trends. And her advice for being successful on websites like Etsy is to put in effort into listing images and think like your customer. So yeah, absolutely love selling digital products online. There's a million different examples of of how you can do this. For instance, a lot of people like to sell Notion templates. A lot of people like to sell resume templates for different types of careers. I mean, the only limit to what you can sell is your creativity and imagination. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be home cleaning. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You basically go to people's houses and you clean their homes. Now there's a lot of different types of home cleaning and all of them can be relatively profitable, but some of the most profitable ones are going to be carpet, couch and bed cleaning. And these just happen to be some of the things that normal traditional cleaning companies don't do. And they don't do it because it typically does require specialized cleaning equipment. And that is a huge opportunity for you to step in and do it yourself. And here's an example of somebody on YouTube who built a hundred million dollar plus cleaning company from scratch, right? And this was Karen and Frank that shared their journey of building Bravo, which is a cleaning company. And they started from humble beginnings, becoming one of the largest privately held businesses in the United States. So if you don't think you can make money cleaning, well, there's the proof, hundred million dollar plus business. Now, typically the average price for cleaning an entire house would be somewhere between 230 and $400. And in some cases you can come back every week, every two weeks, every month. And that means you're getting that wonderful monthly recurring revenue, which is amazing because it's much cheaper to keep clients rather than to find new ones. So overall, I really do like this one. I think it's especially good if you decide to do one of the ones I mentioned, which is cleaning couches, beds, or carpets. Of course, you do need some kind of specialized equipment like a steamer, but they're relatively easy to find on Amazon. But I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be cleaning gutters. And this is one of the many on this list that I used to do myself. Um, I am from a small town myself. I actually lived in several different small towns. And I used to go around and clean people's gutters. And basically all you need is a ladder. And then there's many different ways that you can clean the gutter. Some people literally just use gloves. And it's actually very important that people do this because if their gutters get clogged up, that means that the water doesn't have a place to escape. And that means it's going to remain on their roof. And eventually it's going to start leaking into their house. And there's many different people who have posted about the cleaning gutter side hustle on places like TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. This guy, for instance, makes 
$1,500 a day cleaning roofs and gutters. And he says it's one of the easiest and highest paying side gigs out there. And he talks about how he got started. And generally speaking, the average gutter cleaning gig is going to be about $100 to $360. So yeah, this can be a great way of making money. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be car cleaning or car buffering. And this is where you would not only clean the car, sometimes on the outside as well as the inside, but you'd also buffer the outside so that it shines. And this gives your car that new car look where it just looks really clean and sleek. And people are willing to pay a ton of money for you to do this. Now, there's many different ways to do this. Of course, you could just start up a normal brick and mortar business, and you could also do a remote car wash as well. And this is basically where you come to the person's house, charge a little bit extra, and you wash their car and do all the buffering and everything there. And this tends to attract a type of customer that has more money because they're more time conscious. You know, they're trying to save time by having you come to their house. And because of that, for the convenience, you can actually charge higher. And there's an example of a 22 year old who's earning $77,000 a year as a car detailer in West Palm Beach. And you can charge anywhere from $100 to over $2,000 for a full detailing. So yeah, this is another really good one. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you just do the car washing side of things and you're not doing the detailing and the correction side, and basically detailing is where you make it shine, the corrections would be where you take out any defects. Like for instance, if it has a tiny little bump in it, you can actually fix those relatively easily. Let's just say you're only doing the car wash side of things. It's gonna be a little bit less good. So I'll give that an eight out of 10 opportunity score, but still pretty good. Next is going to be Airbnb hosting. Now this is becoming more and more common. And I've actually gone to business conferences and met a bunch of people who are actually doing this. And at first I was a little bit skeptical about it, but honestly, it's a pretty good side hustle. And there are a lot of people that are making a full time income from it as well. So for example, this guy started a $2.4 million Airbnb business in just nine months. And basically what most of these people do is they rent out a house they have an agreement with the landlord that they're actually going to be using it for airbnb and then let's say they're renting the house for a thousand dollars a month and they're able to make like two thousand dollars a month from the airbnb right because they're really good at marketing it online and making sure that people are actually filling up those nights right so there's no empty nights where the airbnb isn't being used and so therefore they're able to make like two or three thousand dollars a month and it's probably like five hundred to a thousand dollars worth of profit when you count all the expenses like cleaning etc and then all you have to do is just get a bunch of those and all of a sudden you're making you know ten thousand dollars a month or more so yeah this is a pretty good side hustle um it's it's more complicated than people make it out to be, of course. But with that being said, I'll still give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be tech setup services. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You help people set up their Wi-Fi or their satellite or their computers or their TVs, etc. And sometimes you might be assisting individuals and sometimes you might be assisting businesses as well. And especially in a small town where not that many people are very tech savvy, this can be an incredibly profitable side hustle. So typically you can make anywhere from $20 to $100 per hour doing this. So if you're the type of person who's extremely tech savvy, this one could be great for you. So yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And the next one, which is very similar, is going to be if you're really good at kind of online tech savvy type stuff, so not necessarily setting stuff up, but actually doing stuff online, you could consider getting into digital marketing. And there's many different ways of making money from this, all the way from getting a job to starting your own business or working as a freelancer. And one way you could do it, for instance, is to advertise for local businesses. And digital marketing is a super valuable skill set that you can learn. I've actually helped a bunch of people on this channel get into digital marketing. And you start off making between Forty and $60,000 a year typically, and that's if you get an entry-level job. You can make much more than that by starting your own business or doing freelancing. So yeah, digital marketing is great. I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And also you can access some free training in digital marketing that basically shows how all the people that I interviewed on my channel got into it. And that I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be lawn care. And believe it or not, this one can be incredibly profitable as well. That's right. You can mow people's lawns, you can weed whack, and you can trim their bushes and their hedges and make a ton of money doing it. And there's a bunch of examples of people absolutely crushing it with this business model. For instance, there's this guy on the Family Feud show and they talked about it. He makes $4 million a year with a lawn care business. There's another guy who posted a video to YouTube. He makes over $10 million a year 
with his lawn care business. And the average pay for lawn care is typically about 30 to $70 per hour. So yeah, this is another one. You gotta be willing to get your hands dirty, be out in the sun, doing hard work, but you can make a ton of money if you're willing to do that. I'll go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be pet care. And this is one where, yeah, it's still a little dirty. You still have to do a little bit of work, but it's honestly probably a lot of fun too. And services would include walking, feeding, providing companionship, as well as just housing the pet if the owners go off on vacation, for instance. And you can make a ton of money doing this. There is countless articles online about people making full-time incomes with a pet care business, because honestly, people will spend a lot of money to make sure that their pets are well taken care of because the pets are really just a part of their family. So tons of content online about how to get started with this. Really good business. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Very similarly to pet care is dog training. And this is where you actually train other people's dogs. Now, there's many different ways to do this. You can train family dogs from the time that they're a puppy to make sure that they don't have any issues. You can also train dogs that are already having issues, or you could even get contracts with government agencies and train dogs to be like police dogs or something like that or security dogs right so that's actually what this person does right here so four-legged security guard dogs cost as much as two hundred and thirty thousand dollars right because they need to be properly trained and the average dog trainer makes about sixty to seventy thousand dollars a year but again that's like an entry-level job you can make much more than that if you start your own business so yeah another really good one i'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score by the way comment down below if you see any side hustles that you think are really good or any side hustles that you want me to make more videos on or ones that I should have mentioned in this video. I always love to hear your guys feedback. So comment down below and I'll get to see it. And there's a good chance I'll talk about it in a future video if I see a good one. The next one is going to be custom storage. So this is where let's say you have some room in your backyard or you've got some room in your basement. You can actually just rent that room out for storage facilities for somebody else. Now there's actually dedicated apps that do this, but chances are if you're in a small town, they may not actually work there. So in this case, you'd have to basically just advertise your services. Now you can actually store things in your place or another thing you could do is you could actually just build sheds for other people. And if you did the storage in your place, that would be a really good form of passive income. You could make a few hundred bucks a month for basically doing nothing, just using up space that you wouldn't have been using anyways. And if you build sheds, you can make a lot more than that. So typically sheds can cost anywhere from $1,800 to $8,250 on average. And on top of that, you get paid about $3,350 or more per project. So you can get paid really good money to just simply assemble a shed. And honestly, they're not not that difficult to make. So this is another really good one, kind of a random side hustle that's storage related. Um, I'll go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10. Next is going to be a food truck. Now, this is one that's near and dear to my heart because I've had some food trucks out there that have been amazing. Uh, if you find like a really good Mexican food truck, it can just like change your life basically. But a food truck is a really cheap, fast way of setting up a restaurant that doesn't cause you to take a lot of risk, right? So you can just get a food shop, you can quickly set up a restaurant or a restaurant idea and you can test it out. And you don't have to worry about having a physical location where you don't know if the location's good or not, because if the location isn't good, you just drive your truck to another location and it's that simple. So I recently moved to a new area and there's there's basically no good Mexican restaurants in this area. And the first thing I thought is, man, someone needs to set up a food truck here. And I can almost guarantee you that if somebody did, they would make a ton of money from it. So there's lots of opportunities out there to set up a food truck and make some good money. And it's not just Mexican food, of course. For instance, this guy started Seoul Taco, and that's kind of a Korean fusion type of food. And food trucks make on average about $250,000 to $500,000 annually. And that's about twenty dollars to $42,000 per month. And then if you have like a fleet of food trucks, you're going to make a lot more than that. So yeah, this one can be phenomenal. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I made a video 21 dirty side hustles that no one is talking about. It went viral. Lots of people are watching it. Lots of people are loving it. So if you enjoyed this video, you can check that video out by clicking right here.